Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Create a new directory. Name it services. Add a new file in services directory. Name it blog underscore post underscore service dot dart. Add a class. Name it blog post service. And in the class, declare a method and name it get all blog post. Make the method asynchronous. And inside the method block, we need to call one method for calling API from repository class. So let's create another directory. Name it repository. And in the repository directory, let's add one file. Name it repository.dart. And in the repository.dart file, let's add a class. Name it repository. Add the namespace of package HTTP. Declare a method inside class. Name it HTTP gate. Allow a method param for API URL. Make the method asynchronous. And inside method block, let's call the gate method of HTTP. Pass the API. Add await keyword at the beginning and return it. Always declare a private field of string type. Name it underscore base URL and assign our base URL to it. Concat our base URL with API URL. and add a forward slash between two URLs. Now save it, go to blog post service, create a private field of repository type, name it underscore repository, and initialize it in constructor. Now let's go inside get all blog post method, call the HTTP gate method of a repository. And pass API URL to method argument. Our API URL is gate minus all minus blog minus post. And await keyword at the beginning and return it. Save it and go to home screen widget. Create an instance of blog post service. Go to underscore gate or blog post method. And instead of gate method of HTTP, call the gate all blog post method of blog post service. Now save it and reload the app to test. Great, we have successfully implemented repository service pattern. Now let's show all blog posts in next lesson.